Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Rookie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am spending, today I'm spending 24 hours in a reptile enclosure with a snake. This video is sponsored by Dubia.com. They actually reached out to me and specifically wanted me to live in their enclosure for 24 hours. I'm not sure if they really wanted me to promote their enclosure or if they just wanted to see me suffer. A win is a win. They were nice enough to provide me with two of their 4x2x2 enclosures with an extension kit. So it's an 8x2x2 enclosure, so I get a nice spacious area to live in. You know how like animal rights activists are always like, how would you like it if you were stuck in an enclosure for your entire life? I'm not gonna find out completely, but I'll, I'll get a general idea for 24 hours, I guess. I think that it's not going to be that bad, honestly. Like what's the worst part about this? I get to spend 24 hours with Solomon here. Like I said, this video is sponsored by Dubia.com. They have a range of reptile enclosures in all different sizes, including the 4x2x2. As you can see, you can also connect them together with their extension kits to make even bigger enclosures. The doors are actually glass, which is really nice. If you guys are interested in getting one of these reptile habitats, Dubia.com enclosures, I will link them down below. And I guess I'm quite literally going to be testing it out for you right now, myself, because I'm going to live in this for 24 hours, which is really exciting. I have provided myself with all of the essentials for reptiles and human beings, I guess. So I have two Arcadia Jungle Dawns for our full spectrum LED lighting. I have a 6% Arcadia UVB bulb. I'm not sure how much UVB a human being would require in captivity. This is at least what Solomon would want, so. I also have a halogen bulb so that we can thermoregulate. Is this recording? I would literally kill myself. Okay, cool. I almost forgot my enrichment. Um, Solomon unfortunately doesn't get enrichment because I have to live in here. I will also be putting this dog bed in there because I want it to be comfortable, so. Um. Okay, here we go. What have I gotten myself into, Solomon? Wow. I can already tell that this is going to be a very fun time. We are starting. It's 10.18 a.m. I'm also just now realizing my phone is at like 5%, so. That's really cool. How, okay. I'm just trying to turn around. Uh, now I know what ball pythons kept in racks feel like. I don't know if I can turn around. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> Solomon's like, please get me the hell out of here. I uh, don't blame you, brother. I'm just trying to grab my phone cord. I did not forget my phone charger. It is in the water dish currently, so I'm gonna have to dry it off. What you'll notice is on both side panels, they have like a little ventilation thing slash like a grommet to put cords through. So if you need to like mount lights on the inside or you want like a thermometer or a phone charger, it works really well for that. Hello everyone. Honestly though, this lighting is pretty good. Arcadia, you need to start marketing your lights as selfie lighting. Jungle Dawn ring light, hear me out. Let's collab, okay, anyways. I have no room to live. I did bring sunglasses because, you know, I might wanna bask later, you never know. I got Solomon over there. I feel like my phone cord being right over the water dish is probably a little bit of a hazard and Solomon is now climbing through it. Dirty. Oh, I don't think that's on my pants. I feel like that. Anyways, you can see Solomon is just... He does not want to be here. Solomon, come here. Come here, Solomon. Here he comes. Hello. He's like, what the f 
are you doing in here? It's not exciting for the next 24 hours. We're roommates. Yeah, anyways. Hi. Okay, bye. I'm currently playing Monopoly Go. Does anyone else play? This game has a chokehold on me. Oh, there's a little dog hair on your head. There you go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a nap. This honestly isn't that bad. I do wish I brought a pillow too, but it could be worse. So yeah, I think I'm gonna take a nap because I am tired and I don't know what else to do. Solomon is coming around right behind my phone. Please don't knock it over, Solomon. He's very cute. I wanna show you him. Hello, Solomon. He just really wants to find a way out. It's harder to fall asleep in here than I expected, which is a lot coming from me. I think I just dipped my toes in the water dish on accident. That's awful. Mmm, okay. Yeah, anyways. Hello. I just took the most refreshing nap of my life. You wouldn't believe it. Solomon is currently using me as enrichment. I've just decided that I want to have basking time. I want to see what the hype's all about. So. We're basking together. Be nice, that's what the sun looks like. We have the heat lamp, the UVB right above me. Honestly, this is kind of nice. I get it, like I get the hype. It's honestly such a vibe. Sorry, Solomon, I bumped into him a little bit. Are you having fun, Solomon? You know how when you're laying like in the sun, you get sleepy? That's what I'm experiencing right now. All right. The enclosure lights have turned off. So update, it's like 8 p.m. already. Can you tell that I could literally go to sleep now for probably the rest of the night and I would just be thriving? Solomon hasn't moved either. I think he's ready for bed. Oh, 
Look at his little snoot. It's right there. Should I boop that? Should I touch it? He didn't like it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay. I'm sorry. Anyways, I think it's night night time. The next melding. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Do you want to say good morning to everyone, Solomon? I will say... What time is that? Okay, so it's like 10 a.m. So we're pretty much there. It's been almost 24 hours. And yeah, I will say I'm a little bit stiff. <laughs> I'm just going to do my final thoughts now. Um, it was mostly just boring. Probably worse for Solomon than it was for me because, you know, I am taking up his entire enclosure. <laughs> um, you know, it's pretty spacious in here overall, not for me, but I feel like me being in here for 24 hours really put into perspective, like, for, for a snake or like a reptile, you know, it, this is... This is a lot of room. Like, for the sake of, like, PETA, if you're watching this, I really loved this enclosure, and it was an amazing experience. I feel so blessed, and I think that I enjoy living in here more than being outside, and I think that Solomon agrees with me. So, that's all I have to say, really. Um, If you guys would like to purchase a Dubia enclosure, the link will be down below. Like I said, they have all kinds of different sizes, not just the 4x2x2. Two two. They also, of course, have the extension kit, as you can see. So you can connect the 4x2x2s two two together. Like I said, an absolute blast to live in. I might go another 24 hours just for fun, to be honest with you. Um, and... What else? What, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I don't know. What was I saying? The link will be below. I will be actually setting this enclosure up for Solomon to live in. Once again, thank you to Dubia for sponsoring this video. And link below. I don't know what else to say. I would like to leave, though. So, yeah. I will say Solomon and I definitely are on a different page as far as climate goes. I was not thriving. I will be taking this and giving it back to the dogs. Sorry, Solomon. We'll also be taking my phone charger back.